Hello everyone, so uh, I've got another unboxing for you today. Uh, I've just changed cameras. I've decided I'm going to move away from uh, mono again. I've done this before, but it's been a, a journey of discovery for me. Um, but before I get started with the unboxing, I just wanted to say a quick thank you to everybody who's been watching, liking, commenting and subscribed to my channel. It's uh, It's been a crazy reception that I'd not at all expected, so uh, thank you all very much for that. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So. The camera I've gone for is the ASI 2600MC Pro. Um, I've experimented with cooled colour cameras before. Uh, in fact, in the past I'd owned a 183 uh, colour, um, the 294, uh, an ASI 533 also, a couple of DSLRs. Uh, I've had mono cameras a few times now. I've gone uh, down that avenue, but the sun always just keeps bringing me back really to, to colour, and these colour cameras now are so good. That, um, the trade-off doesn't really feel like much of a loss, if that makes sense, for the the gain in ease uh, and like, immediate gratification. Uh, gratification, sorry. So yeah, uh, this is totally unopened. It just came today from First Light Optics, and uh, I'll show you around the box. I'd originally wanted this when I purchased the five three three MC Pro camera, which is the same sensor technology. Uh, as this 2600 and also as the 6200 uh, just in a much smaller form factor I think it's an 11.3 by 11.3 millimeter sensor but let's just get this cut open but yeah this, this is the one I really wanted which is uh, an APS-C sized sensor I just couldn't afford it at the time um, alright let's have a look the first thing I noticed is that it's far heavier is the box than uh, the 294 uh, that I had at least, and especially the 533. Um, so in the box we've got a USB A to B, a long one. We have a couple of link cables, these used to come to. Um, yeah, there we go, there's the other one. So these are short ones, so you can use the camera's inbuilt hub. Uh, and just have, you know, minimal excess cabling to link. So they're really handy, they'll be going into use. Uh, there's an included Allen key, which I think is for adjustment of the uh, the tilt plate, which is attached to the front of this camera, and that's uh, okay. That's unexpectedly quite huge <laughs> and really hefty. I'll just put that to uh, one side a moment. I think it just fell out here is a M48 to M42 adapter. Here we have a M42 male to M48 female. That's 16.5 millimeters back focus, and I assume this is, as usual, that fits in the end of there if you need to terminate in an M42 thread. Uh, I, I fortunately don't, I just need to use M48. A, a cap, and another M42 to M42, 21 millimeter spacer. A uh, little manual, oops, four fingers. Uh, driver download instructions and such in there. Very good. Now ASI cameras come with no uh, power supply, but that's something I've already got myself from my previous camera, which was a QHY 163 Mono. Um, just come with a rather nice padded case. All right. Wow, that is a chunk of a camera. So just like the uh, the 294 and the 533 I owned, it uh, feels like a beautifully made camera. It, it is far larger, I would say it's practically twice the weight, um, but of course it's, it's got to have a much larger body to cool such a large sensor. Uh, and there's the additional weight of the tip tilt adjuster there too. Um, I'll just take the cap off. Um, what is this, a screw? Yep. So we can have a quick look at the sensor. I never really liked doing this. I'd, I'd sooner just undo and apply straight to the uh, the field flatness so no dust could get in, but for the sake of camera, we'll do with this. Wow. Okay, let's cover that back up. That is a big sensor. It's the, uh, the same size as what you'd commonly find in a, uh, a crop sensor DSLR. So that sh should allow me to get some real nice shots coming up soon. 
Uh, I do also have on order now a an Optolong L Extreme filler, and as soon as they're available again, I will be buying the uh, the filter draw system made by ASI. Um, to so I can uh, I can slip it in and out at my uh, discretion sort of thing. You know, when when the moon's up, use the narrow band, and when it's not, shoot broadband. All right. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, hopefully the weather clears and I can get back to normal videos soon. Thank you. If you liked, uh, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. Cheers.